Hi, I'm Clay Goodman, your Buckeye City Council representative for District 6. A lot has happened since we posted our last video in January, and I'd like to say thank you to everyone who took the time to watch and offer their comments and concerns. One of the biggest concerns that we receive citywide is about the lack of traffic control on Jackrabbit and I-10. So I'd like to take some time to address that situation in this video, as well as the proposed multifamily rezone at Jackrabbit and Thomas. Let me start by saying I know that Jackrabbit is in need of several improvements, including traffic signals at the I-10 interchange. But let me explain why these improvements have been so hard to get under construction. With the Jackrabbit and I-10 interchange, there are several factors in play, especially when it comes to jurisdiction. While the development that is increasing traffic on Jackrabbit Trail is occurring in Buckeye, Jackrabbit Trail between Van Buren and McDowell is currently operated by the Maricopa County Department of Transportation, and the interchange is under Arizona Department of Transportation's jurisdiction. On top of this, there is a flood control channel in the area that would first need to be relocated before work on the interchange could begin. Unfortunately, the biggest holdup has been finding funding for these upgrades. However, the work has been submitted as a potential project for the Prop 400 extension, which was originally passed in 2004 as a half cent sales tax to improve transportation throughout the county. As residential developments further south along Jackrabbit continue to grow, so does the need for traffic signal at the intersection of Jackrabbit and Van Buren. This intersection is also under MCDOT's jurisdiction and they have been proactive here with the traffic study at this location already underway. Preliminary design is expected to complete in 2022. However, this project is not currently funded for final design or construction, but options are being researched by the project team. Further north, Buckeye has improvements that are coming along at Jackrabbit and Indian School with a new traffic signal and turn lanes the area is getting ready for more commercial development. The Fry's Marketplace is now open with more tenants being added to the Village Grove Shopping Center, including Ace Hardware, Verado Animal Hospital, Pizza Hut, Great Clips, Fry's Fuel, Cafe Rio, etc. The southeast corner, known as Jackrabbit Ranch, is almost fully leased with tenants that include Ebb and Flow Coffee, O'Reilly Auto, Filiberto's, Goodwill, Jack in the Box, Breaks Plus, Makayos, Dollar Tree, Avet, and more. Dominion Management recently submitted a rezoning application for a multifamily site plan on the northwest corner of Thomas and Jackrabbit. The 16-acre parcel is owned by a capital management company called Southwest Next, and the proposal includes 300 units, which is currently in first review with Buckeyes Development Services. To learn more about the project and where it is in the process, we sat down with principal planner for the city of Buckeye, Adam Copeland. With any new project proposal, before it's even reviewed, we have uh, each project applicant submit a notice of application uh, to the residences within a certain distance of the site to make sure they're aware of what's being proposed. It's not scheduled for a city council meeting yet or a planning zoning commission meeting yet. We are still in first review of the project. The way this uh, project will move forward, it'll most likely go through several, several reviews from the city. Uh, we will uh, work with the various departments uh, as part of that review. Uh, if the project uh, does move forward officially, um, it will go to the planning zoning commission as well as the city council. Uh, for approval. Uh, a large number of residences have reached out to us via email, phone calls. Um, we abs that's absolutely the reasoning behind the notice of application. We want the residences to ask questions, voice their concerns. If they're supportive, not supportive, those are the things that, that we're looking for. All of the, what we received uh, from those residences will be uh, provided to the Planning Zoning Commission and City Council. Um, and, uh, but again, those dates have not been set. We're still in the review process. Each resident that has reached out to the city will uh, receive a notification of the date, time, location when those hearings are scheduled. So you're going to have a Planning Zoning Commission hearing, uh, you're going to have a City Council hearing that you'll have a chance to speak at. 
um, and be, be part of. Uh, and then uh, you'll also have, uh, we'll put an ad in the newspaper and we'll also post signs on the site regarding any activity on the project. Uh, but right now it's still in the very preliminary stages, in the review stages. We're absorbing everything uh, basically on what we're hearing from the neighborhood. We're reviewing the technical details of the project. Um, but moving forward, we'll make sure that everyone uh, is engaged and notified as the project moves forward. On top of the Planning and Zoning Commission and the City Council meeting, where you can voice your concerns, the project applicant, Dominion Management, will also be required to host a neighborhood meeting that residents can attend to learn more about the project. Again, this is all in the infancy stages, so I'll keep you informed on the upcoming dates and times of these meetings. I just want to let you know that we are listening and I hear your concerns. Please keep them coming. Please feel free to post any concerns you may have in the comment section below and we will do our best to get them answered for you or even feature them in upcoming videos. Don't forget, you can always reach me by my email at cgoodman at buckiaz.gov. Thank you.